I'm Spencer King. Welcome to uh, Jack Cardiovascular Interventions. We have an interesting paper related to a very important subject. As you all know, the uh, radial approach is being increasingly used around the world, uh, in, in the U.S., not as much as in Europe. But we have a very fa fascinating paper giving us insight into uh, how to do the radial procedure, the size of catheters used, and the complications. Uh, from the uh, Leipzig Prospective Vascular Ultrasound Registry, we have visiting with us today Dr. Madeline Ullerman. And Dr. Ullerman is uh, one of the uh, authors of the paper coming in uh, Jack Interventions. Welcome, uh, Dr. Ullerman. I want to ask you about your experience, uh, which is a large uh, registry of patients undergoing radial uh, access and, and prospectively entering patients with uh, two sizes of sheath to see if you could uh, decrease the complication rates. So why don't you give us a brief overview of what you found when you, when you did this uh, uh, investigation. Well, actually, um, the rate of radial artery occlusions and exercise complication was higher than uh, expected and reported previously. Following or monitoring by, monitored by routine vascular ultrasound examination after each transradial procedure. Now you had five French and six French uh, yes. uh, devices, and you had a lower complication with a smaller, uh, she smaller sheath size. Uh, with that, uh, was there a selection of the smaller and larger sheath size? This was not randomized between the sizes. Is that correct? No, right. That's correct. It was a prospective registry, but it was not randomized. So it was up to the interventional cardiologist to use a five French sheath or a six French sheath dies. And uh, in patients with a high likelihood for coronary artery disease or planned PCI, we, in the absence of large randomized trials, we liberally use six French sheaths. Yeah. In particular, in patients presenting with acute coronary syndromes with a higher likelihood of performing the PCI, we used a six French sheath. In any other patients, uh, the procedure was performed using five French sheaths. So the most surprising thing, I think, to many of us reading this paper was the uh, percentage of uh, occlusions of the artery. Tell us what you found. Well, in patients using six French sheaths, the um, overall excess site complication rate was 33% compared to nearly 14% in patients using five French sheaths. In particular, radial artery occlusions were detected in 14% using five French sheaths and in nearly 31% using six French sheaths. So it's a difference that is statistically significant and um, with more complication rate using, lar using larger sheath dyes. Now, most of my colleagues who do this are going to be very surprised that the occlusion rate is that high. What's the explanation for why? you found such a high occlusion rate? Well, in the literature, um, the rate of radial artery occlusions is um, surprisingly different, ranging from 5 to uh, 38 percent. Um, but the difference is that we started uh, a routine vascular ultrasound examination after each procedure uh, because clinical examination alone with pulse control may be um, unsensitive or not sensitive enough to de detect the true rate of radial artery occlusion. So all of our patients were monitored by vascular ultrasound examinations, even in patients that were asymptomatic and did not have any symptoms at the excess side. So you're saying if you look for it, you find it. You find yes. occlusion. Now, what about uh, symptoms? Uh, these people were, some of them uh, were, most of them were free of symptoms, I take it, but some had symptoms? Yes, oh, yeah, they did. patients were complaining about, about it, the pressure pain at the uh, excess forearm and uh, loss of hand grip force. And they developed this immediately or? or yeah, later? about 45% um, 40, had acute symptoms after taking off the compression device and as a 7% of our patients became symptomatic at home when they were resuming their physical activity within four days after the procedure. So the, so the ultrasound was done um, at what time following within the procedure? Within 24 hours. Within 24 hours. So within 24 hours, 
you have an occluded artery. How many of those stay occluded? Do we know this? Um, well, yes, we've performed uh, follow-up ultrasound. Actually, uh, patients that were symptomatic, symptomatic were treated with low molecular weight heparin. Patients that did not show any symptoms did not receive a heparin therapy. And of those um, that were treated with heparin, nearly 55% um, had a complete reperfusion of the radial artery. And of those that, were, uh, that had radial artery occlusions and did not receive a certain, hap a certain therapy, only 11% showed a re-canalization of the radial artery and follow-up. So do you now use low molecular weight heparin routinely yes. in these patients yes, who are symptomatic? Do. What about the ones who are not symptomatic? Why not use it in those as well? Well, um, since, well, in the absence of randomized studies, we still do not use it in asymptomatic patients, but in patients showing symptoms, we always, um, they always get heparin. So what? some of us would wonder if the artery remains permanently occluded, then it's no longer available for a repeat procedure should it be necessary. So you, you wonder about that. Well, it's, uh, this is uh, very enlightening and going to be surprising, but uh, it points out again that uh, careful uh, observation of the results is important and sometimes maybe we're fooling ourselves that uh, we have no problems and, and in fact we may be. Uh, the radial approach has certainly uh, uh, transformed the patient's attitude toward catheterization. I know that many of our patients are very anxious to have it done from radial approach. Uh, when they read your paper, they may say, well, I don't know, maybe I should rethink this, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I really applaud your group for uh, uh, studying this in such uh, detail. Thanks for visiting with us, uh, and we look forward to uh, seeing more papers from you. Thank you very much. Thank you.